for a check on with the weather with Storm Team meteorologist Dave Nussbaum, who's in for Alex this weekend. Dave, it felt amazing this morning. It was very nice in the 60s for much of the area. How about that? Lower to mid 60s, very comfortable, a nice treat for August. And while we're going to see one more night of that before the changes come back to reality, basically with the muggy weather back in our area. Not right now, though, 86 degrees out there. There's northerly winds helping to keep those dew points in the mid 60s. That's that comfortable air out there. The heat index just slightly above the air temperature there at 88 degrees right now. And around the area, 86 in Anniston, back to the Gadsden area in Talladega, 90 Tuscaloosa, back to Fayette, 91 in Moundville are hot spots. But Hamilton, you're at 83, got down to lower 60s to mid 60s this morning. The big story of the dew points, though, when you're down into the 60s, the mid 60s here. We're kind of in the muggy to very muggy category. That's not bad. Usually we're in the 70s like we have over there in Talladega, but that's pretty nice and comfortable. Not only here, but you can see across the area to the north up in Huntsville. How about Nashville 56? That's some really dry air, but look at the 70 degree dew points down in New Orleans near 80 degrees. Yeah, that muggy air from that front, it's down there and it's going to stay down there for now, but eventually creeping back up our way. You see the temperatures going from the 84 at 7 o'clock by 1 o'clock in the morning morning there at 73 and 5 a.m. few early risers tomorrow about 70 degrees will be our low here 69 there in Alabaster to Clanton Alex City back to Anderson 67 Gadsden Asheville area and Coleman how about 66 in Hamilton looks pretty nice that's gonna be very comfortable great for that morning cup of coffee outside tomorrow morning and you've been clear out there a couple clouds couple showers from Gadsden Anderson earlier this afternoon most of those have now dissipated here but really just looking at some pretty quiet weather because our front made it all the way down here to about the I-10 corridor and that's where it's going to sit for tonight. But tomorrow it's going to start creeping its way northward. Now south of that, down in the Gulf waters, actually have a weak area, low pressure kind of forming here in the northwestern Gulf. That's going to bring some much needed rain to Texas, and they're going to see that as there's a low chance for development with this system as it works its way to our Corpus Christi, headed back down towards, say, Brownsville, Texas area tonight and into tomorrow morning. No impact to us, but going to bring them some of that much needed rain. Our next weather maker, though, is going to be the muggy air returning. And see that old front's going to kind of allow that muggy air to return. Then we're going to have another system coming on in as we get into Monday into Tuesday. That front's not going to bring us much dry air, but it will be bringing us the threat for some more rain as we head into next week. So there you see right now we're kind of in the sticky category with the humidity, but it's going to get to the muggy category heading into the first part of next week. And guess what? That chance of rain also goes up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There are 40 to 60 percent even into next Saturday. So first part of the week, not too bad. Second part of the week, you're going to see that muggy air returning. So temperature wise, Again, falling down into the 70s by 10 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow morning, waking up to upper 60s to around 70 degrees. And then look at the heat tomorrow. How about in the lower 90s? 92 here, 94 Tuscaloosa, back to Fayette and Moundville, 91 Gadsden and Anniston. And as we go on into Sunday night into Monday morning, we're waking up to the 70s. A little muggier air because look at that. We have those southerly winds returning. And look at Monday afternoon, getting it into the mid 90s. 94 here, 95 Tuscaloosa, 96 degrees over in the Fayette area. Definitely going to be quite toasty out there and we're going to see more of that kind of westerly wind coming on in still dry through Monday, but things will be changing though shortly thereafter. You can see Tuesday 92 few storms at 20%, but then here comes that rain Wednesday, Thursday and Fridays. The front lingers over the area. Only good thing is it's going to have highs into the mid 80s. All right.